Hello, welcome back. Today we're gonna to be doing the second Target Beauty Box that was released, I believe, January 4th, somewhere around there. Uh, I had ordered both of them and were shipped and arrived at different times, so I have the second one today. So we're gonna see what's in here. This is pretty heavy. So if you guys wanna see what came in this Target Beauty Box, then just keep watching. As always, it has the little card that tells you a little bit about the things in here and then a $3 off $15 beauty purchase at Target, which I love. All right, the first thing in here is uh, from Scoonchie. The This is a two pack of everyday and active no damage, super comfy hair ties. And then there's a dollar off coupon on the back. There was a headband that came in the other one. So these hair ties, correspond with the headband. Uh, they're braided, there's a pink and black, and I will definitely get more use out of these in the headband because I have a giant head and headbands hurt. Next is from Nip and Fab Skin. This is Glycolic Fix Exfoliating Facial Pads. Ooh. Wipe across face, neck, and decollete. Apply to cleansed skin once or twice daily, and there's five pads in here. Radiance Boosting Pads are soaked in exfoliating gly glycolic acid, help retexture and resurface to unveil younger looking skin. Well, that's the dream, so we'll try these. Never heard of this brand. Target is really stepping it up with the brands that they carry. Is it just me, or are they carrying a ton of new, not high end, but I guess a little more high end brands than they used to? Is that just me? Next is from the brand Marlowe. This is an extra moisturizing body lotion in number two. And you just, it's just a lotion, so. Ooh. It's a white lotion. Oh, it smells, um, it smells just clean. Hmm. Yeah, I like it. And it doesn't feel greasy. I, I don't like greasy lotions. So, yeah. A little sample of that guy. Next is from the brand Clear. This is the Clear Men Scalp Therapy 2-in-1 Complete Care Anti-Dandruff Shampoo. It smells like a good shampoo. I will... I don't have dandruff. Uh, so I'll just see if my husband wants to use this. I don't really know that he has dandruff either, but I mean, it has a more manly scent than a feminine scent, so he'll probably like this. And then for the ladies, we have a clear scalp and hair therapy total care nourishing daily conditioner. That's really weird. They gave me a men's shampoo and a woman's conditioner. Uh, I feel like I've used the shampoo for this before and it was fine, I mean, so I'll use it, but that's kind of weird. Next is the Acure Day Cream, this <laughs> go-to cola stem cell, I don't know what that means, but apply to face, neck, and chest each morning after toning, and then face the day with confidence. And this is vegan, sulfate-free, cruelty-free, paraben-free, PEG-free. Petroleum-free, phthalate-free, silicone-free, gluten-free, synthetic fragrance-free. It won't clog pores, and it's 100% biodegradable and made in the USA. Whoa, that's intense. All right, I can't get this off. It's like stuck on here, so it wasn't meant to be, but I'll look back later. Next is from John Frieda. This is a Frizz Ease Caraflex Flexible Hold Hairspray with a Microfine Mist. That smells very good. I don't really use hairspray anyway, um, and since it doesn't smell really good, I'll probably pass this on because it's not something I was going to use anyway. Next is from Nivea. This is the in shower body lotion with, for very dry skin with almond oil. I In the other box, there was a Jergen wet skin moisturizer, and so this is like the Nivea version. I've never tried the Nivea version, so let's see what just It 
It doesn't really have a... Mm, no, there's a scent, I guess. It just smells... It just smells like lotion. Again, it smells just clean. And then the last thing, the heavy thing, is the Simple Sensitive Skin Expert Micellar Makeup Remover Wipes. I actually almost bought a pack of these the other day and I was like, eh, they're not on sale. I don't really want to spend that much on them. So I'm glad I didn't buy them. Uh, I haven't tried these before and I want to. I will say I don't love the Simple Micellar Water or the Eye Makeup Remover. So hopefully I feel differently about this. But if they're terrible, I can always use them for swatches. So not a big deal. That was the Target Beauty Box for this time around. I wish I could say quarter or a month, but they are just sort of random about it. They're almost monthly, like almost monthly. Um, so if you guys got this box, let me know if you like the stuff that came in it. And thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe if you haven't already, and I will talk to you soon.